What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, today, I gotta confess to y'all something I ain't told the YouTubes at all. When I was younger, my family gave me the nickname of Shaq. Yeah. Because I was this little chubby boy who loved to eat. But look at me now, mama. Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> oh, no. Look at me now. Not chubby at all. I kind of just grew taller, then gain, gain no weight. But it is what it is. So today we're going to be seeing if we can guess the lesser known nicknames in NBA history. 50 questions. Before we get into it, let me do my shout out to the day. So shout out to the homies for wherever you are supporting the channel. Both videos yesterday because we did double upload. But let's get into this one. Can you name the more unknown... Nicknames for NBA players. Shout out to Jacob, I'm guessing, or Jakob. One of the two. Shout out to you for creating this quiz. 50 questions, 20 minutes. Hopefully, we won't need 20 minutes for this one. As you can see at the bottom, we haven't taken it just yet. Let's get into it. All right, paper thin. I do not know. But I do know this is a terrible nickname. Paper thin? I'm just thinking about, I, I just, that makes it seem like you're like not durable at all. Cause you know, you can tear a piece of paper with no force at all. All right. We'll use the process eliminations. If we don't know it, we'll skip it and come back to it. Number two, the round mound of rebound. That's one of the more common ones. That is Charles Barkley. Hoya Destroyer. I think, wait, let me look at my options here. Um, I'm pretty sure that's Patrick Ewing, right? Which really doesn't make much sense. Cause I'm pretty sure Patrick Ewing was a Hoya, and when I hear the word Hoya Destroyer, I'm thinking about a player that destroyed Georgetown every time he played him. But hey, it is what it is. Mr. 94 Feet. That's Patrick Beverly. Because he's guarding you pretty much the whole length of the NBA court, hounding you. In that third quarter, 12 of 18 for 67%. Steal by Beverly. <laughs> That defense, take pride in it. Spider-Man, oh. Spider-Man, I, I know this one, but is, is it Avery Bradley? Yes, it is. Feltz, that's Raymond Felton, easy one. That's, that. yeah, that, that's too easy. The Rain Man, Sean Kemp, Pat. Okay, there's only one Pat left. There were three to start off with, with Patrick Beverly, Patrick Ewan, but Patrick McCall. I think you should call him by his last name. It's, it's a dope sound, the last name. You just put the emphasis in the right spot, but I'm not even gonna try it. JC, Jamal Crawford, the Prince of Darkness. That sounds like some anime stuff right there. The Prince of Darkness. I'm going to skip it. The Browse, Anthony Davis, J. Rich is Jason Richardson. Where you at, J. Rich? There you go. Frank the Tank is Frank Kaminsky, straight out of Illinois. The Big Penguin. Ooh, I think that's... Is that Drummond? I remember having this question on the previous quiz. I think it's Drummond. Yes, it is. Mully is Chris Mullins. Not even, not even think about. Gobzilla. That is Rudy Gobert. Russ. Russell. Nope. It's not Russell Westbrook. Who else on here will be named Russ? Bill Russell. There it is. All right. You know, you just got to take your time. The alphabet. That is Giannis. Because he got all 26. Is it 26? All 26 letters in his name. It seemed like. It seemed like it. The big O is, of course, Oscar Robertson. Reef. It's Sharif Abdul Rahib. Shout out to you, my brother. JJ. It could be a lot of people, you know, like JJ Reddick, because he wasn't born JJ, but let's see who's on the list. Is this a player whose first name and last name start with J? James Jones. There it is. I was like, wait, I don't see anything. James Jones. There it is. The anchor man. Ah, oh, this is a this should be an easy one. But we're gonna skip it. Sideshow Bob. Anderson Virgil because he got the nasty, crazy hair. The French magician is Boris Diaw. Shout out to my boy Mason. We we compare him to uh, Boris Diaw. Their games are very much similar, but Boris Diaw is on the NBA level and Mason is on like a YMCA league level. But that's not that's not a diss. Shout out Mason. Mo is Mo Cheeks, Maurice Cheeks, former point guard, former coach. I, yeah, because he's not coaching anymore. Agent Block. Okay. Obviously a big man. You don't get... Is that Hassan Whiteside? I don't think I... It is Hassan. Yes. Let's get it. Biggie. Mm, okay. I don't know. We're going to skip it. The Droof is Drew Holiday. The Brazilian bur Blur. I miss those Brazilian Blur moments with Leandro Barbosa. We just don't got him no more. The age took my mans. Skinny Walt. Okay. What player here has the name Walt? 
nobody. Ray Allen. Walter Ray Allen. Skinny Walt. I've never heard anybody call him that, though. Never. Don't Google is Evan Fournier. And I say it all the time. When Evan Fournier comes up, do not Google his last name. Some of y'all said y'all did in the last video, and I'm telling you, you will regret it. Do not Google his last name. The grind father is Tony Allen, which is great. Shout out to TA, the yoga instructor. All right, I'm going to say it right here. If I'm the NBA player, I don't want my name to be the yoga instructor. That's just me, though. I'm going to skip it. I've never heard I've never heard anybody be the yoga instructor with the deep three. No, no. I, w I wouldn't rock with that. But then again, when I was younger, I didn't really rock with the nickname Shaq. I guess you just, whatever nickname people give you, you got to accept it because they go call you and no matter what. The Outback Jesus is Matthew Della Vadova. Don't know. The logo is Jerry West. That's his nickname and that's his thing. He's his logo. S Dog, Sean Livingston. Ken is Kentavious Caldwell Pope or me, Kenny. Bangers. Woo. Um, skip. I'm, I'm sounding like um, Shannon Sharp with the skip. Skip, 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 skip. Stop it, skip. All right, Udonis Haslam, his airness is, is his airness. Come on now, it's Jordan. Maple Jordan is Wiggins. And I'm just gonna let y'all know, hmm, Michael Jordan, Wiggins, you know, but that's just me. The Iron Man is Wesley Matthews. Moose is Greg Monroe. AI2. Oh, Iggy. I've never heard anybody call Iggy AI2. I just hear Iggy. The Argentinian Flying Man. That's got to be Manu. I get never heard that either, but it's got to be Manu. The Stormin' Mormon. Who here is Mormon? Not any of the black guys. <laughs> it's got to be Sean Bradley. There we go. Smooth is Larry Hughes. Boogie. DeMarcus Cousins, Grandmama, of course, is Larry Johnson, Paper Thin. Okay, so we're back to all the ones we skipped. I'm going to skip Paper Thin one more time. The Prince of Darkness. The only guy that makes sense here with the Prince of Darkness is Bill Lambeer because he was his dirty player. Hit this foul. Now he and Lambeer start shoving each other. And now Barkley gets into it, and he and Lambeer. And now there are some punches thrown. It's Bill Lambeer. All right, the anchor man. I'm going to go Paul Millsap, and it's right, Biggie, Biggie Caleb Swanigan, yes, the yoga instructor, the yoga instructor, can it be Tony Park, it's not Tony Park, this one is Tony Park, okay, we got bangers and then paper thin, I guess Rondo be paper thin, because Amir Johnson is this big old dude, and same thing with Aaron Baines, it only makes sense that Ron, all right, Bangers, 50-50 chance. Let's go Aaron Baines. Amir Johnson was paper thin. I need some explanation. And then Rondo was the yoga instructor. Need some explanation. <laughs> the NBA TV crew then deemed the Kings point guard the yoga instructor because of his innate ability to contort his body to finish in traffic. That's why Rondo is the yoga instructor. I guess that's fine. But I, I tried to find something about paper thin for Amir Johnson. I just couldn't do it. Um, so if you know why Amir Johnson is considered paper thin, let me know in the comment section below. We got a total of 91%. The average score is only a 41. And to be honest with y'all, that wasn't hard whatsoever. So I don't know what these people do when they get a, a 91. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave it a like. Let me know in the comment section below your nickname. Yes, even if it's as embarrassing as me being known as Shaq. Before we get out of this, I got to let y'all know that we did drop the newest episode of our podcast through The Wire yesterday. It was like, we talked about everything. We talked about everything, and I thought it was one of our be better episodes. You guys have been downloading it a lot, but for you guys that have not, it's there. Link is always in the description. Thank y'all so much for watching. Peace. <laughs> it's an hour later, and I figured it out, boys. Rasheed Wallace gave the nickname to Amir Johnson because when Amir Johnson was a rookie, he was paper thin. Told the boy to drink more beer, to gain some muscle, but until then, his nickname was Paper Thin. Alright, peace.